hey guys welcome back to my channel today what prompted this video is a question that i have seen in so many facebook group people were asking whether it's possible for aa and as couple who got married to give birth to ss child so they're asking for any medical explanation and that's why our question here says is it possible for aa or as couple to give birth to the baby with ss so guys the medical advice or explanation is what we are doing in this video so let's look at genotype and its compatibility genotype simply is the genetic makeup of an individual organism we term this this is just the simplest definition you can get about this and we have types of genotype we have aa as ss ac we also have sc we have sd but i just wrote out this for for us to understand the compatibility when we discuss it so here we have the genotype compatibility in compatibility we talk about an aa person getting married to an as or ss person or ac person so and it's worthy of note that you know that is only aa that is the normal genotype as has a little trait of the sickle cell of the sickle cell whereas ac ss are not are the abnormal ones so when a person who is aa gets married to another aa person we term it excellent the same applies to aa plus as aa plus ss but when the case is as as plus as ac plus ac ss plus as as ss plus ss ac plus ac ss plus ac or ss plus sc and hsc we term them bad because the couples may likely give birth to an ss baby so from this compatibility guys you will believe or you will say from what i just said now but it's not possible for couples who got married as AA and AS to give birth to a baby with SS. But before we continue, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more health updates. The link is in my bio. You can check the first comment to see the link. So before you also conclude, this is back to our topic. Some people, when they saw that message or when they saw that question, they were simply concluding on infidelity. Please watch. From my clinical experience, it has shown that the result, that that thing can be as a result of the following. Please listen attentively. It can be as a result of the following, which may have happened likely before the couples get married. And the first among them is when there is inadequate testing. You know, when you are testing genotype, there are different ways of testing genotype. We have the qualitative way of testing it and the quantitative way of testing it. And if you want to get the actual result of what you want, to know whether this person have any sickle cell trait or whether there is a thalassemia in the body of the person or in the blood of the individual, we use what we call HB electrophoresis. That is hemoglobin electrophoresis or sickling sickling test so we don't know the type of test that these couples did before they got married so one of the things that can cause this to happen for aa and as couples to give birth ss is what when there is inadequate testing it can as well also be as a result of incorrect interpretation of result you don't know who interpreted their result before they got married so another thing also there can be that can be a kind of a hand into this is when there is a wrong laboratory result so we don't know where they did their test before they got married and another one is when they check in a substandard facility we know and you can believe with me here in africa and nigeria for example there is proliferation of laboratories and not and non-standard hospitals so you don't know where this couple took their genotype test before they got married and most importantly some couples don't cross check with another facility before they get married so they just take one result which can be which cannot be true sometimes so in this case what should the couples do maybe they found out what the problem is what should they do we encourage the couples that they should recheck their genotype in three or four different laboratories and why they are doing this is that there may be likelihood 
a wrong interpretation of the previous results that they have and also this will help them to get adequate results as well so if you are a single listening to me here this video is partly for singles not just for the question that was asked you know you have checked your genital before please i'm pleading with you go to three or four different hospitals and laboratories to recheck yourself why did i say that i also saw this type of question in one of the groups that i belong they said that aa people are so proud that they will date you without even asking what your genotype is i'm not saying being aa is bad but before you boast that your genotype is aa or that your genotype is ss or that your genotype is as or that your genotype is ac sc or sd please make sure you have a backup test and if possible request that they do a quantitative test for you so having reached here guys you may ask okay now maybe the couples they have gone to check and what are they going to do to this baby that they've already seen that the baby's genotype is ss is there any way out is there any way out yes there is only the only promising solution to changing somebody with AS, AC or SS genotype to AA or AS is true bone marrow transplant, abbreviated as BMT here. But the problem with this bone marrow transplant is an is that is an expensive procedure and may require a donor, which is often scarce. And there's not even all the hospitals that can even do the procedure if there's a donor at hand. So, guys, if you watch up to this place please like share and leave a positive comment thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel to get more health updates the link is in my bio you can also check the comment section to see the link so that you click away and watch other videos and thank you so much for watching in case you have a similar case and you want to book a 30 minutes call with me it's just for a token just if you're interested send me a dm for the number then we talk thank you so much